What happened to our little kid passion for achieving the impossible? When did we stop shooting for the impossible goals and start aiming for realistic targets instead? As little kids, we dream of a bigger-than-life existence, but eventually, we grow up. We lose our oomph to keep aiming high. We settle for everyday mediocrity. We stop trying to be heroic and finally accepting being average. Throughout the centuries, God has been in the business of building astonishing lives, lives that by faith conquered kingdoms, performed acts of righteousness, obtained promises, shut the mouth of the lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of a sword, from weakness were strong, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. God created us as little kids with a passion for impossible things, but he never intended for us to have that passion stripped away as we grew into adulthood. He wants us to believe in him, the God of the impossible. He wants us to expect him to be as large as he says he is and as capable as he claims to be. God calls us for adventure, for pursuit, and for pioneering. His greatness and glory are spread about a vast and endless frontier, as fathomless as the universe itself. And it's into that boundless frontier that beckons us, come and know me. It's a lifelong quest for discovery and growth. As Christians, we are meant to have an insatiable appetite for God, seeking him as a miner searches for gold, never satisfied with only a small nugget of his beauty, but longing to hold the entire treasure of his grace. The gold of God is awaiting discovery. The ultimate life is waiting to be lived. But first we must awaken the pioneer within us. We must once again dream impossible dreams.